Hi everyone. Uh, the purpose of this very short video is to tell you the method that I found out uh, in order uh, to retrieve the information from the orchestrator patches and get them into separate channels uh, so, well, I can do whatever I want with them. Is to support him uh, made a promise that some tutorials and guidance would be provided soon uh, on how to do that. So it is very likely that there will be a better method soon coming, but at least this is mine so far. On my Cubase session, I've recorded a simple chord progression, uh, whatever chord, whatever patch, uh, that's not the purpose here, it's just about the MIDI information. My issue uh, is that even if in the orchestrator uh, some MIDI channels are identified for each voice, each, uh, each subtrack in uh, each section, uh, I, I couldn't really uh, retrieve uh, these MIDI channels uh, in my Cubase session. It is very likely that, as I said previously, I just didn't know how to do it properly. For each instrument uh, on the left pane, the left panel, uh, it is displayed uh, a channel, you know, like for strings, for instance, it's uh, 12, 13, 14, and, and, and so on. Uh, so what I just did is I, I created a simple MIDI channel with the opus as an input uh, with no output at all, uh, because this channel basically will do nothing but uh, retrieve the MIDI information uh, from Opus when it's played. So the only thing to do is just to arm and record uh, this MIDI track. Eh bien, on yeah, récupère, sorry, it's, uh, uh, it's a voiceover I made from uh, the initial French video. Yeah, that's it. So if, if we check that pattern, uh, that block, then all the notes are there, the short notes for each instrument are there. Uh, it looks like a mess. But in Cubase, you can select by channel. Uh, and when I did that, uh, I realized that even if I couldn't do it, it looked like Cubase could identify the various channels. So from there, it's just about going to MIDI Dissolve and you just extract the notes on separate, uh, separate lanes. And that's it, boom. Uh, you get all the instruments available. Uh, each of them is here on a separate channel. Uh, so you'll tell me, but w which instrument is what? Well, just go back to Opus and check uh, the actual MIDI channels that are indicated. Well, in my case, I, I will only deal with the strings. So I don't care about the yellow, the purple. I will just select the red. And so first violin, second violin, uh, viola, celli, and, and, and basses. This is the normal order. And 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 as MIDI channels. So I can now just sort the things. I will remove uh, the ones I'm not interested in, and I will just keep the 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 uh, to get the string uh, ensembles. So first violin, second violin, uh, violas, celli, and bass. For, just for the purpose of the demonstration, I've created two instances of contact with uh, long strings and short strings. So I will move uh, the sections. Uh, the first violin and the second violin will go to uh, long notes. And violas, uh, celli and bass are short notes. So I will move these guys to the short note patch. I will then use the glue tool uh, to merge uh, all the lanes in one and basically we get long strings, short strings. Uh, so let's mute uh, Opus uh, and play uh, the new track, I would say. Vers la nouvelle librairie. Okay, that's it. Uh, I hope 
this will be useful guys and then you will be able to take advantage of uh, this uh, beautiful tool uh, orchestrator uh, to improve your own compositions and we're looking forward for more uh, guidance from east west uh, about their great new tool opus thanks and bye